So basically, because now it's out, yeah, um, it's shooting out, but yeah, previously it will be going to the wall because everything's yeah. constricted. And I suppose because the wall's so wet, it's then yeah. moving along the wall, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's got to find a dry like, oh, okay. I'm sure that's why you got a wet patch in there. Yeah. Building a swallow outside. Like going over to the side down to the bottom. So I suppose it, yeah. This thing's me. The bar on there. Mm. Okay. The dry is okay though, but we have to replace both of them. Mm. Mm -hmm. Cause it was it was fine until we had a new shout because we had um we had a problem with the shout. So I worked on this shower before, there was a leak um, from the pipes up in the cold into the connector here, like this, it was here, it's leaking into the wall, caused quite a lot of damage um, to the building next door, the flooring was wet. Um, outside the walls look damp um, or open or cut open the ceiling underneath the shower downstairs in the kitchen the supporting framework or wood um, was saturated or very wet with water some even some insects in there so Basically, what they've done is uh, ripped off the tiles. I use a humidifier to dry um, the moisture or the water that's going into the building. So today, I'm going to cut off that part of the wall and uh, do the first fix for the shower. And then they'll come in tightly and we'll put the shower on. Once again, always remember to isolate the water supply before you do anything. Um, I've got this two that one you should try on fitness. Yeah, she's a screwdriver, but in there, um, I have this. damage I was talking about. See the damage. The leak did to the wall. As you can see, I've cut the wall down to the pipe. Just cut that bit. I'm gonna build new pipes from here upwards. Um, I think I should have wet it because it's very dusty in here. So I'll put in the first fix for the downstairs shower. Um, as you can see, cut the pipes from there, put, uh, push the couplings on there. And I just thought push fit elbows to be too thick to fit the backer board or the water resistant board. The towers in so I put in compression, which is similar, slimmer, a slimmer fit. Um, I put these clips there 
just to hold it in place to show the tiles the distance needed between the two pipes the cold and the hot or the hot and the cold it's not really needed once the tiles have been cut it can be removed and the pipes just put in to um, get it ready for installing the, the connectors and then the shower So basically, because now it's out, yeah, um, it's shooting out. But yeah. previously, it will be going to the wall because everything yeah. is constricted. Yeah, I suppose because the wall is so wet, it's then yeah. moving along the wall, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's got to find a dry like, oh, I'm sure that's why you got a wet patch in there. Yeah. Building a swell outside. Uh, going over to the side down to the bottom. Because I suppose it, yeah. This thing's me. The bar on there. Mm. Okay. The dry is okay though, but we have to replace both of them. Mm. Because it was it was fine until we had a new shower because we had um we had a problem with the shower.